Hey, what's up guys? Brian Rabbit here, and today I wanted to show you my gaming setups. So, uh, I have a couple gaming setups. This is the living room. I also have one up in the office. Uh, they're both really different. They're used for different purposes. And I just kind of want to let you know what they are and uh, how they work. So, let's start with the living room here. What you'll see right off the bat is a 55-inch plasma TV. Uh, I'm really happy with this TV. It's a Panasonic. Uh, I like plasma over LCD because you don't get that motion blur effect and the colors are a little better. Uh, below it, you'll see a, you know, just a kind of piece of Ikea furniture and an Xbox. This Xbox is actually the original Xbox that I stood in line for, I think it was seven years ago, on launch day. Uh, it's been back to Microsoft for warranty repairs twice, uh, but you know, other than that, it's pretty good. It's been doing its job. There's actually a black faceplate on it from uh, Xbox Elite that broke. Uh, and uh, let's move on to, oh, we got these drawers here. There's not a whole lot in these drawers. A couple extra controllers, a uh, bracket for mounting the TV, a headset. We have, uh, and a couple of remotes, not much in there. Over here, we have the surround sound system. So this is a Pioneer surround sound system. It's all HDMI. I use a uh, Harmony remote. You'll see that here. Uh, you'll find that when you set up a surround sound system, the only person who knows how to operate it correctly is the person who set it up. So a Harmony remote makes it very easy for anybody else in the house to use it. Uh, above it there is an Apple TV. I, we don't have cable in the house. We just use uh, kind of Netflix and Hulu and Apple TV to get all our content uh, and that works pretty well for us. We also have a set of speakers here. These are surround sound speakers uh, made by Klipsch. Uh, they're pretty good. They cost about $500 and that's super expensive. Uh, they sound good, you know, not great, good. <laughs> Over there you'll see a uh, subwoofer kind of sitting in the corner all by itself. And that pretty much does it for the living room until we kind of go over here past the fireplace and we see Lucas and he's playing Minecraft on PC. <laughs> so that is, you know, just a little setup just for the boys so that they can play computer games and do schoolwork. Over on the other side of the room, we have their gaming setup. This guy has a little 32 inch TV in it, an Xbox, Connect. You see that they have the Skylanders up there. Uh, they like that game. And a Wii U. I'll tell you what, that Wii U hasn't been turned on since I think Christmas. <laughs> I played it. Not getting a whole lot of use, I'll be honest with you. I think until they come out with Minecraft for the Wii U, we're going to be kind of just watching it sit there, collect dust. See, they have quite a few games here. The Skylanders figurines. They, uh, they kept it pretty neat, and I'm pretty proud of them for that. That's pretty good. I did that. All right. So that's about it for this setup in the living room. Hello. <laughs> Next we'll do the office. All right, we're back and we're up in the office. What you see here is kind of my office gaming setup. Uh, this one's more focused around actually recording gameplays and recording voiceovers. Uh, and let's start over here on the left hand side. What you see is a PlayStation 3, an Xbox 360, and that little HD DVD player that I don't even think Xbox supports anymore. I don't think if you plug that in, it doesn't even work. So I might as well just toss it. A uh, battery charger for uh, controllers, which I never use wireless controllers up here because it just annoys me. Uh, we got a few controllers here, the Razer Sabertooth, the Razer Anza, and a standard Xbox controller. Uh, the monitor is kind of a funny thing. It's one of those Sony PlayStation 3 specific monitors. Uh, this monitor sucks, right? And I'll tell you what the problem is with it. The picture is great. Uh, the problem is it doesn't come with a remote control and all the controls are back behind the monitor. You can't see them. It makes it really frustrating. <laughs> I hate it. But uh, it's what I'm using. It's what I'm gonna keep using until it breaks. So here's my gaming headset. It's an AX720 by Triton. I don't think they sell this anymore, but I am very happy with it. It sounds great. It works flawlessly. Uh, I really have no complaints. Uh, over here we have an Elgato Game, uh, Game Capture HD. That thing works great. Uh, it's very easy to set up. I actually have a review of it on my channel. Uh, one, we got one input from the Xbox, one output goes to the TV, and one output goes to the computer. 
Very easy to use, very easy to set up. I uh, got a little speaker back there. And then I do all my editing here on the MacBook Pro. Uh, this thing's been pretty good for me. It's a couple years old now, it's starting to show its age. But overall, I'm very happy with it. Right next to it, you'll see the uh, Blue Yeti microphone. Sounds pretty good, it's not an awesome microphone, but it sounds pretty good. Uh, we got a, just kind of a standard HP monitor here. A uh, couple of kids' toys they leave around. Got a Razer, I don't remember the, I think it's a Death Adder mouse. I only use this when I am gaming. For most of my tasks, I use the standard uh, Apple mouse, it's a touch mouse, it works pretty good. I use Final Cut Pro to uh, assemble my video, to edit video. That works really well. Uh, you see the kids built me a little uh, iPhone stand out of Lego, I really like that. And that pretty much does it for that. What do we got? Oh, a little tapestry just to block the light while I'm trying to record. Got a little game collection over here. Not much in there. There's a lot of Call of Duty, a lot of Halo. Uh, we got some Blu-rays, some books. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Oh, we got a little baseball card collection up there. A uh, little chair for when I don't feel like sitting in the gaming chair. Bookcase, a couple motorcycle helmets. Oh, and we got camera equipment. I'm also a photographer. It's uh, one of my two real jobs. Uh, that pretty much does it. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment in the uh, comment section. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the setup video. Here are a couple of movies you may have missed. On the left-hand side, tips for the Revolutionary Map Pack. And on the right-hand side, Peacekeeper Class Setup Tips. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.